going on everybody we just got back from uh, harbor freight i got a icon 400 pound uh heavy duty creeper and i ended up getting one of the air punch and flange tools for some metal work i have coming up and i wanted to get a steam cleaner and this looked like it was a pretty good steam cleaner for what i need and uh, let's do an unboxing right now. It's got some steam jets in the bottom of it. It's got a scrubbing brush with a steam center port. I would assume this Well, that sucks. I just broke that because I didn't put it on there, right? Hopefully, I don't need it. It's a squeegee for squeegee and something as you're steaming it. I'll have to glue that tab right there, but it'll probably never be right again after I just did that. That was pretty silly. But I thought just putting it up there, that ridge right there would ride up against it. And it snapped. I guess you purposely you purposely do have to pull it back. It won't just snap up there on its own. But it does look like it was made with a rough edge. Right here, it's not very smooth to let it glide. And all I did was just stick it up there like that. And thought it was going to stay still and, and, and push back on its own and snap on, but it didn't. It actually broke right out the box. Hmm. Well, so much for that, right? Hmm. I'll have to fix that. All the different connections and ones for it. The top. Some kind of steam cloth, a mopping steam cloth, I think. It's got some kind of detailing cover that goes goes on something. Then it's got a bunch of different connections, so you can clean the inside of cup holders and stuff like that out, or scrub stains, whatever it may be. Here's the handle for it. Another connection head. steam rods connect to the machine.
guess this here is you gotta sit here and rip this open all the way down. Oh, there they go. They, there's a seam right in the center of it. It just pulls apart once you start ripping it. Looks like there's one attachment right there, but you don't have to have that attachment. You can take that attachment off and not even use the two extensions. And go right to the piece of equipment. That you got to wiggle a little bit to get it to snap in there. I'm sure after you do it a few times, there it goes. It's just new, you know. I feel like they could have turned this the other way. Hmm. And then here's your straight connection. There's a locking tab right here on the handle. Uh, let's see here. So you'd have to have that. Oh. That will go there on this piece here. I want to try some of the small. Little adapter pieces here. Here we got all these foam adapter pieces. I want to try one of them. Is what I want. Just like that. I'll be right back. And then to pull this off, you push it down on the cover or on the lid, pull out. There you go. Now your cap is off. Now go put some water in here and fill it up. I've got the cord plugged in. Make sure it's turned off before you plug the cord in because I've seen the lights light up right away. Come on. Come on. Let's turn it on and see how long it takes to warm up. It's got a long cord on it, so they, they give you a long cord. 
on off is right here in the back. And now it's lit up. It's got a couple lights right here on the front. It says on and steam. Obviously, it's got to heat up for a while, so let's let it heat up. So you run the system until the red light is off, and it just turned off. So now we're going to flip this around, and we're going to try to steam clean this mat. We're going to make an attempt to see if it'll work. Just straight water, no chemicals.
swap the end out for a different end. Something a little thinner. I'm gonna try this little jet wand looking thing here. This little elbow. Oh yeah. Wipe it down now. Beautiful. Now just take your favorite coating of whatever, spray it down real quick. All your dirt and stuff is done. Just got a little stain on the rubber and that's it. I'm gonna finish it up with some chemical guys total interior. There you go, textbook finish. Slap them back together, you're good to go. Now here's the driver one, it's 10 times worse. I mean, it's bad. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it real quick to so show you all what it looks like. I'm using this little piece here to blow out the chunks of stuff. And the crevices and the cracks.
So we'll do this side with cleaner and then, or this side without cleaner and that side with cleaner. Give it a couple minutes to sit and we'll be back. All right, let's give it a go. I like how it gets all the sticky stuff off of it. It didn't leave it behind. It melted right off of there. Oh yeah, come on. Now I'm going to switch the tip out and scrub it. How are you? I guess those people aren't very friendly. It's okay. That's okay. That was some cleaner just to finish everything up. Remember, this is a natural finish. This isn't like a super shiny finish on this uh, chemical guy's total interior.
Well, this one's done and it's in, it's drying. This is what it kind of looks like once it's dry because some of the staining is there. You'd have to do this multiple times to get every little bit out, but the dirt actually stains the rubber and you need something different to actually bring it back uh, other than just steam. Like it penetrates and then it dyes it. The steam cleans it, gets all the junk out of the cracks. You could come across it with a shine gear interior finish, but I don't like that. I like the more natural look, so I'm fine with it looking like that. It took all the gunk out of it, all the gooey stuff out of it, the food out of it, and now I'm perfectly fine with what it looks like. It's clean, just a little stained. So, the next order of business is this seat. I don't like the way it looks. So I'm gonna try to steam this seat real quick. So I had a big Marvel Mystery oil, oil stain that kind of went up here and came back down. You couldn't really pick it up with the naked eye of the camera. It's soaking wet right now. But I took a dry cloth when I was done and wiped off most of the surface. But that line that was going through the seat right there, it's gone. I know it probably pushed a lot of it down into the foam. That's fine. I'd rather be there than not seen. Um, and I took the cloth and wiped up as much as the moisture. And now I'll just let it air dry and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow but it did take the stain out that was on the top of the seat it really couldn't be seen all that much on the camera